Good day everyone, I'm Dr. Philip Tangatwe and I would like to thank you so much for the support that you've given my first two videos for this year. The response has been overwhelming. Thank you very much for the support. Please su continue supporting my videos. Uh, feel free to click on the like button on this one and the subscribe button again for the channel so that you'll be updated on new content. So, from my last video on Lianhua, I got a question about using panlanggan for prophylaxis. Prophylaxis meaning you take the herb or the med medicinal and then it protects you from getting infected. This is different from treatment where you're already sick and we give you some herbs or some medicines to help you get better. So, I'd like to clarify first that there are a lot of of commercially available products in China based on panlanggan as the chief herb. Because, you know, Chinese medicine, we seldom just give one herb at a time. It's usually in formula form. Lianhua is a formula, and there are many formulas with panlanggan in them. Now, when the question was posted to me, I wasn't really sure what formula was being referred to, what commercial product was being referred to, when I was studying in China not too long ago, in fact, I had encountered panlanggan formula granules. So these are sachet form. You mix them in water and then you drink. But since I don't know what formula we're working with, I've decided to orient you, the audience, with panlanggan, the herb itself. So without further ado, Radix isatidis, panlanggan. It's classified under herbs that clear heat and purge fire. I think that's kind of self-explanatory that fire and heat are related to what we in Western medicine call inflammation. It enters the heart, lung, and stomach channels and therefore exerts its effects mostly there. Its flavor is considered bitter and the temperature cold, just as with most herbs that are anti-inflammatory. But since this works with the lung and heart, we know it's better for the upper part of the chest. It drains heat, resolves fire toxicity, so you know it helps get rid of the soreness and possibly pus. It cools the blood and finally benefits the throat. But, you know, you hear a lot of, oh, this is natural, so it's safe. Unfortunately, that's not true. Part of studying Chinese herbal medicine is finding out about side effects. So, with panlanggan, the side effects is, well, it's cooling. So, you don't want to give it to a patient whose body is already suffering from cold. And since it enters the stomach channel, we know that cold from spleen and stomach deficiency will just be made worse by, from panlanggan. But enough about traditional use. Let's look at the science. So if I'm doing this editing right, you should be seeing on your screen several screen captures about studies that show that basically, yes, chemicals extracted from panlanggan do exert antiviral effect. Yes, it can kill flu viruses in the lab. The question posted to me was, can this be used to prevent COVID-19? Checking the literature, what we find is that experiments were done in trying to prevent shingles or prevent shingles from getting worse because panlanggan has been proven to have antiviral effect. So in the Philippine setting, would I recommend the use of panlanggan or products based on panlanggan combined with other herbs for use to treat disease or to prevent disease? I suggest that enterprising individuals might take a particularly good panlanggan product, register it with the Food and Drug Administration as a traditional medicine, just like with Lianhua, so that we can legally distribute it and guarantee its safety because we get the product from a reputable source. Do I recommend it as a 
prophylaxis for COVID-19? As much as I love Chinese medicine, as of now, I do not see any scientific proof that we can take panlanggan products to prevent the setting of infection. Anyway, I hope that this brief video answers some of those questions about panlanggan, the herb. Please leave some comments down below. Again, please like this video. Please click the subscribe button. Thank you for the support. Keep well. Keep safe.